When I was 15 years old, I had an encounter with the love of the Father like I've never had before. Uh, and it happened uh, in the ocean, and I was actually drowning. And I thought, I'm, I'm truly gonna die. The place that was really actually just, just dying inside of me, the place that was killing me, it was that place of feeling like I lived a good Christian life. You know, I, I did good stuff, but it was, I knew that there was so much more than that. I knew that I did not live my life to the fullness. We have this generation of people who's stripped of identity. And so we don't have the impact in education, we don't have the impact in business, we don't have the impact in politics. Not just a church-centric impact, but an actual original intention of God impact. There's something so unique about what's taking place in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. You've got the culture capital of the world, the ability to influence so many, and at the same time there's this underground stirring, this, this passion in this city for justice. God had a dream in our culture, in society, in these different spheres of what they would look like, not just an optimal performance, but actually with the people inside of them, an optimal fulfillment. When you begin to see those things merge, this creativity and this artistic side with this passion for transformation and for justice and restoration, something epic begins to take place. There's a great renaissance that's happening right now. And it's just like the old renaissance that took us out of a dark age. It was actually something that interrupted humanity. The arts interrupted men's vision and hearts. The science interrupted the way that people thought, and that's happening again. In that experience, having no strength left, I was looking at my natural father. As I looked at him, it was like I saw the, the heavenly father's eyes right in front of me. And I can see the longing and the cry of the father for that, that, I, will, that I will come to him. That, that, that I will come to everything that he is, that I will, that I will swim, to, that I will go to him, that I will swim with all of my heart, that I will like run towards him. And it was the desperation, it was a desperation I've never seen in the eyes of anybody. So we believe that God is bringing people to the school to be transformed. More than just academic understanding, we believe that God wants to equip and empower uh, just the students to live a naturally supernatural lifestyle and to bring heaven to earth wherever they go. You'll learn faster through this culture changing capital of the world than you could learn in a small town or a place that doesn't have the, the, the outlets that we have as a, as a city, just the broadness of what we do, what we get to go to in the studios and we get to go to premieres, we get, we get to go to parties, we get to go to all kinds of events that you'll just never see, they're not available anywhere else. You're gonna to begin to understand more than ever why you were put on this earth in this generation. And our heart in this school is to, to come around you and to truly help you see the big picture of what God is doing in you and through you and in our day. The Expression 58 School Ministry is the LA Regional Supernatural Training Center dedicated to empowering the body of Christ to pursue their God-given sphere of influence. One of the things I'm most excited about is that our words, like the words like transformation, prophetic healing, they're not just buzzwords that you read about, you do them. And so I'm, I'm so excited about inviting you to come and be a transforming agent to society. I'm excited about you being a prophet to the nations. I'm excited about you being a healer. I'm excited about you understanding how to change and shift the kingdoms of the earth because the kingdom of heavens will be at hand through your hands. If we don't have you in your fullness, what will society be missing?